Welcome to the Springfield Township Board of Trustees meeting. It is January 9th, 2018 at approximately 5.30 p.m. Uh, Mr. Burning, may we please have the roll call? Yes, um, Mr. Burning? Present. Ms. McFarland? Present. Mr. Heinlein? Present. All the trustees are present. Uh, next, would everyone please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance. First thing that we have on our agenda this evening is approval of minutes from our regular uh, meeting on December 12, 2017, our regular work session on December 14, 2017, and a special meeting work session and organizational meeting which took place on December 28, 2017. Uh, do we have a motion? So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those Motion passes. Next, uh, Mr. Burning, do we have a financial report? If I can get to it. This isn't working. Out, it? There it is. Okay. We got new computers, and I'm not computer savvy, as I should be. But you're getting there. I'm getting there. That's right. That's the all first matters. meeting with him. Um, fiscal report. Because the financial department is still working to close on closing out the month of December, because it's the end of the year, um, the exact figures for the month of December aren't available to me. Um, you can look those up on our website or you can pick them up anytime during regular business hours. I just want to let everyone know the financial reports are available for viewing at the administrative offices during regular business hours and are available on our website at any time. That's all I have. Thank you, we Mr. Will Burning. We will have a double uh, fiscal officer report next month. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, moving on to department action and discussion items. Mr. Henkamp. Uh, just real quick, Joe. Did you want, oh, we to, want a uh, motion, motion to approve receipts, warrants, payroll expenditures? Well, we, do we yes. have those? You do. I don't have them. That's you why just I don't, don't have do the exact December, but you still would pay the request the motion for okay. receipts. Okay, well, I can do that. I request a motion to approve the receipts, warrants, and payroll expenditures for the period ending December 31st, 2017. Do I have a motion? So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Sorry about that. It's all right. <clears throat> okay. Um, just a very short report tonight. Uh, just one action item. We do have a liquor permit request for... Uh, Dolph Jan Midwest LLC doing business as Dollar General Store that's at 8555 Winton Road and this would be a new permit and Chief I don't believe there's any objections to the issuance of this permit. No, we have no issues at Dollar General and um, there's no objection to it. Okay based on that I would just recommend to the board that we send our customary letter stating the board is not uh, requesting a hearing on this particular request, this particular uh, liquor permit request. Do, do we have a motion authorizing the clerk to send that letter? So moved. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. <clears throat> then uh, under discussion, I know the board is aware back in, uh, oh, I think it was back in October and November, we had two public hearings um, regarding our uh, community development block grant award programs. There was a total of six applications that were submitted. Uh, the board did sort of establish a priority ranking for those applications. You know, I am happy to report that we did uh, receive word yesterday that uh, two of those requests uh, will be funded over the next uh, three years. That's for 18, 19, in the year 2020. Uh, the West College Hill Neighborhood Services Project will be funded at $60,000 in 2018, $55,000 in 2019, and $50,000 in 2020. And then we did also receive funding for the Glencoe Street Resurfacing Project that is actually uh, DeSoto Drive in the amount of $150,000. So all over the three-year 
period, the township will be receiving three hundred and fifteen thousand uh, dollars. Just note that total in the county, uh, the entire amount allotted was about three point nine million dollars, uh, and the township's uh, allocation is the second highest amount in Hamilton County. So, great job by. Uh, Chris Gilbert and also Kathleen Kennedy, who worked on putting that application together, uh, getting our fair share again. So, Mike, I would job. just like I'd like to also state I was in that meeting yesterday, and again I had a discussion today about it. But in the meeting yesterday, I was amazed, not surprised, how many other communities were competing for those dollars. And when you look at the fact that um, some of those communities were rejected because the paperwork was not completed, uh, you know, appropriately. And I just, again, want to just say that we continue to excel with our paperwork here in the township. And uh, I'm just glad that we were able to get what we received because many communities did not get that due to the paperwork being uh, incomplete. No, I agree. And, and this doing six applications, I think, was as many or more than we've done in previous years. And all the credit goes to Kathleen Kennedy. She, she handled the process this year. So um, kudos to her. Thank you. Great job, guys. Yeah, Great going job, over a Kathy. total of 33 yeah. communities that did receive some type of funding. But how much was the total we received? <coughs> the total in the county was uh, 3.8, almost 3.9. Was us? Or 315 was our total over three years. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. And then uh, the only thing I have the personnel update. Uh, in our administration, uh, Tamara Kunkel uh, did begin her duties on reception as secretary full time beginning uh, January the 2nd. Uh, we did accept the resignation of Shane Stegall, uh, part time paramedic firefighter, resignation date of December the 7th. And also, I think we may have talked about this once before, we did uh, accept the resignation of Patricia Fuller as a full time police officer. Uh, Officer Fuller is uh, going on to the FBI, correct, began, Chief? Began Monday, yes. Started her work with the FBI on Monday, but uh, her duties concluded with the township on December 14th, and we did promote Robert Buckmeyer to the vacant position of supervisor in our public works department. His effective date was January the 1st. And then uh, just a reminder to the board, as is, uh, is the board's well aware, um, as we discussed back in our <clears throat> back in one of our November board meetings, uh, it is my intention uh, to re to retire from my position as township administrator in active service with the township. As we talked about looking at doing that in uh, in the spring of this year, uh, at that time it didn't have an exact date, and uh, have actually notified OPERS and filed the paperwork, so I do have that date and that final day will be March the 23rd uh, of this coming year. Obviously, I'd like to do this a little bit more formally as the date approaches, but just to briefly uh, express my appreciation uh, for, you know, the, the many, many experiences that I've had the opportunity to have with the board, uh, the opportunities to work with uh, not only this, this board and previous boards, but uh, just fantastic department heads. Uh, incredible leaders that we've had in the township, our staff and our employees. Um, it's been a, it's been a very, uh, it's been an amazing 22 years. Uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, obviously, I love this community uh, very much, and it's it's hard to find the words really to express the debt of gratitude that I have for the township and what the township has meant to me uh, and my family for these 22 years. But. Uh, I think it's you know it's the right time, and I'm ready to ready to move on to the next stage of uh, in my career and pursue some different opportunities. So um, I know we've talked about this, so it's nothing new, but I uh, didn't have the official date uh, for the board, and just wanted to make that sort of publicly known tonight. Did you really say every minute? <laughs> there's, been a, there's been a couple of minutes. <laughs> there's been a couple, a couple of minutes, bumps maybe, on the road. a couple of minutes here and there, but overall. Uh, it's been a it's been a fantastic experience, it really has. Mike, on behalf of the board and really all the citizens, of, all the citizens of the township, I'd like to thank you for all your all your service to the township. I mean, we are, and I'm I'm not 
of those 22 years, I've been here for about 21 of them, and I know, Gwen, you've been here the whole time. The whole time. Mm -hmm. But this township, so much of what this township is and then the type of government that we, that we have, the kind of well-run government we have, is attributable to Mike's actions. And, Mike, you've been an excellent leader with all the staff. You've been uh, great to work with, you know, and, and the thing is with you is like you were never, never somebody to just say, well, let's just maintain the status quo. It's always been how are we going to take this to the next level? And, and, and it shows. I mean, it shows in our department and in, in all the department heads and in the, uh, the, way that, the way this township operates. And whereas we see dysfunction and, and inefficiency and problems in other governments, we just don't have that here. And we've been blessed for it. And a lot of it's because of, you know, the leadership that you've shown. So we'll, we'll have more time to roast you yeah. in the future. But <laughs> sure I would, I do sure have to will. say, yeah. But I've been, I've been very blessed with yeah. a great team, a great team of board members, great staff. It, it really. Well, Mike and I came on about the same time. I can't how so it's been stellar. The years have been stellar. He has pushed, as all of us came in with the same uh, persona, to push to move our township forward, including the fantastic staff that we have here and the, and the officers and the, uh, the chiefs and the directors and everything with the same goals and aspirations. And, and I know that uh, you, you truly left on, are leaving a legacy, and I am very confident that Chris will carry it on. And, continue to push us and move us forward too, uh, because that's what it's all about is maintaining the stability of our township, being future oriented and working with the other communities and schools within our school, within our district as well, with, within our township. So uh, it's been, it, it's, it's good. It's all good. And, and you, you're coming at a great time, Chris, as well. He certainly has beat you down and beat you up, so I believe that you'll be able to, to persevere and, get, and keep us moving. <laughs> I still live here, so I'll be sitting out there. I know. God help us. We might have to make some new rules. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Good. Two-minute rule didn't work so well in Cole Lane. Yeah. Um, I know the board has copies of uh, the different department reports. <clears throat> Maybe ask him to bring us up to date if you can talk um, on what's going on with community events and programs. Absolutely, thank you. Um, on February the 9th, um, we're bringing Playhouse in the Park for a, show, a free show called Pinocchio. Um, the Daddy Daughter Dance is going to be February 16th and 17th. We've expanded that to two dates. Um, and then March 1st is the Springfield Township State of the Township Community Address. Um, I also have a notice that I wanted to just um, make the board aware of. The Grove um, actually is very proud to announce that they have received the 2018 um, Wedding Wire Couples Choice Award. This is the second year in, the, in a row for that award, and it is... Um, Let's see here. It says Wedding Wire Incorporated is the leading global online marketplace for the wedding and events industry. Annually recognizes top 5% of wedding professionals on Wedding Wire who demonstrate excellence in quality, service, and responsi responsiveness and professionalism. These are basically um, based on the, um, uh, the comments um, and the posts from different um, brides who have been to our site and have made positive comments um, on their account. So congratulations to the group. And we have a, an event coming up, right, in February? I'm sorry, what? We have a, a, an event coming up in February. The Pinocchio? Pinocchio. Yeah, yeah. February. Could you just give a brief overview of that? So if that is with um, Cincinnati Playhouse in the Park. We've been partnering with them for the last five years. And we um, run that event in partnership with the Wyoming Fine Arts um, Center. And that is going to be back at the Grove. It's a free production um, put on by Playhouse in the Park. It's the little kids show in, that everybody recognizes, you know. In pajamas. Yeah. In pajamas. Oh, it is a pajama party. That's right. <laughs> I'm actually, yeah, and everybody can wear their pajamas, the parents and the kids. And um, we'll have crafts and snacks after the event. And around in our jammies. 
Thank you. That's good. Thanks, Kim. Joe, the only other thing I have is uh, just at the end of the meeting is to request that the board go into executive session, and that would be to discuss the employment of a public employee. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Uh, moving on to uh, the resolutions this evening. The first resolution we have is resolution number 7, 2018, determining necessity for road improvements pursuant to revised code section 5573.01 on Lakeside Drive, Lakeshore Drive, Lake Park Drive, Jack Pine Court, Chatterton Drive, and Wind Lake Drive, and authorizing statutory actions required for such improvements. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second it. Mr. Burney. Aye. Ms. McFarland. Aye. Mr. Harlow. Aye. Resolution carries. <clears throat> Next, we have resolution number 8, 2018, declaring nuisances pursuant to Ohio Revised Code Section 50587 at various listed properties within Springfield Township in authorizing statutory actions necessary to abate the nuisances. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second it. Mr. Burning. Aye. Ms. McFarland. Aye. Mr. Heinelau. Aye. Resolution carries. You can tell it's winter. The list is not long. It's, no, no, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Next, we have resolution number 9, 2018, declaring motor vehicles located on public or private property in Springfield Township, Hamilton County, Ohio, to be junk motor vehicles pursuant to revised code section 505.173 in ordering the removal of such vehicles pursuant to resolution number 80, 2012, and revised code section 505.871. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second it. Ms. Mr. Burney. Aye. Ms. McFarland. Aye. Mr. Harlow. Aye. Resolution carries. <clears throat> okay. Next, uh, do we have any old business this evening? I do not. I have none at this time. Okay. Uh, do we have any new business? I do not. I would just like to congratulate Mr. Hunter Law on being our chairperson for the next year and uh, to the township. So, uh, you guys, if you have any issues, talk to Mr. Hunter Law. <laughs> so, congratulations. I draw the short straw. <laughs> Some would say. Yeah. No, I'm Thank you, Gwen. I'm happy to do it. Um, you know, the only thing, I, I suppose, under new business, one thing we could talk about is we are working with the Hamilton County uh, Land Bank uh, and the Port Authority to try and uh, uh, get title to the property of the old uh, uh, swim club down behind Brentwood Shopping Center. Uh, there is an expedited process by which the county for abandoned properties where they're delinquent in taxes that the uh, land bank can take title to the property and then we're going to be looking for ways that we can uh, develop that property uh, in the future but that's that's something we're doing that uh, Chris has been working on Chris Gilbert to alleviate the uh, blight in the neighborhood um, any other new business I have not. Um, how about under citizens participation is there anyone here this evening that would like to address the board uh, if you would I would ask that you come up to the podium and you state your name and address okay good evening, everyone. Good evening. Chad Engelman 871 Finney Trail I um, just want to introduce myself I was elected to the Faintown Board of Education last November and started my term January I have been nominated by the board to be the township rep. So I'm here tonight to give you some, an update on some situations that are happening, very exciting times in Finneytown. The state of Ohio has given Finneytown the news that they will pay up to 52% the cost of new facilities for our school district. And we received that offer about two years ago. And we are at the point where we need to accept that offer or it could potentially lose it. So the board has decided to start a community um, outreach program over the next three months. 
We are going to hold a series of community forums and we've put together a bunch of uh, smaller committees to determine if the community of Finneytown is willing to and wants to build new school buildings in our school district. The, of course, the board will take the community's reaction before we vote on this. And the timeline as follows is we need to present to the state of Ohio a master plan at the end of March. So we have three community outreach forums scheduled. One is January 18th at the Performing Arts Center secondary campus from 6 to 7.30 p.m. The second is February 22nd um, at the, community, the Performing Arts Center secondary campus 6 to 7.30 and the third will be March 7th. And everyone in the room is invited to come and participate, and even if you don't live in Finneytown as your representatives of the township. Um, the next three, we have three board meetings um, beginning of the year, January 16th, February 20th, and March 19th. And we just picked those dates, and our website has not been updated to reflect those yet. We've contacted, we've contracted an architectural company, SHP, to run this process for us over the next three months. And SHP specializes in doing uh, school buildings in the state of Ohio. They have a section of their company that's dedicated to do this discovery process. So this discovery process, we did not have to go to bid for that. We were able to directly contact SHP, and they're going to run this three-month discovery process. At the end of that, they will create a master plan for us to submit to the state if the voters and the citizens deem that's the path forward. And then at the end of March, we present to the state a letter saying, yes, we're going to take you up on our offer. This is our master plan, and we will then vote to put a bond issue on the November ballot. As of now, we do not have an answer to the question of what we're going to do. That's coming out over the next three months. The community will have input whether we build one building, two buildings, three buildings, four buildings. The architectural company will let us know what the laws are regarding how the state will let us use the money. And since we will take state money, we have to follow their rules. So to answer the obvious questions, well, where are we going to build, we don't know yet. Hopefully by March we will know because we have to be a part of the master plan. The state won't give us the money unless we tell them what we're going to do with it. So it's exciting times over the next three months. This is going to be fast and furious to get this done. Typically, this is a six-month process, and we're going to truncate it into three. And if the community wants to, we'll put the bond issue on a November ballot um, and run forward with that. If the community, if, the, if this process determined, we determine the community is not willing to do this, then we're not going to do it. As a board, and I myself as a board member, we have to take into account what the community wants. Um, so I'm going to be trying, I will be attending your meetings over the next three months, giving you updates as we go. Terry, know the superintendent has been sending out all of these dates via social media, and I'm sure you received the email with these dates. Um, I would love it if you guys had a presence, the township had a presence at these meetings. It would be great to see the support. Um, and eventually we're going to have to partner to make this work. I think we have exciting times coming up because uh, the state mandates you have to build 50-year buildings. So when you think about it, we're going to potentially build infrastructure that's going to take Finneytown for the next 50 years. So this is, in my opinion, really exciting times. So I'm here tonight to give you these dates and uh, invite you to these meetings to attend, to give us your opinion, and uh, I'll report back to you as we go. Very good. Chad, thank, thank you very much. Do you guys have any questions now? I mean, as obviously as a board member, I can't talk for the board, but I can try right. to do my best to answer any questions you guys have. I only have one, if, if I may, board. Is do they tell you how long you have to pass the bond levy? So no, they do not. So how many bites at the apple do you I, get actually, before they have, say? Let me say we have six years to use their offer. So we can accept the offer. Once it's accepted, we have six years to okay. say we're ready to do this. Okay. Um, the thought is, if we're going to get this train up and running, we're going to run with it. We could wait a year to go for a bond issue. We could wait two years. But the consensus is if this is what the community wants, we're going to try to run with this bond issue this November for the first time, if it passes. And that's if the community wants this. So, And then there's going to be, so the architectural company will do this master planning process, and then they are off contract. And then if we, have, if we do decide to go forward, we will have to send the architecture out to bid 
um, for the planning stages. But okay, very good. Great. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You much. No problem. Congratulations, Chad. Great. Yes. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Alberta Hemsley. I'm a contented resident of Edgemont, which is a part of Springfield Township. I mention it to people, and people don't understand that Edgemont is a part of Springfield Township, but it is. What's your address? My address is 1305. My card is coming around, I think. 1305 okay. Wood, Woodland good. Avenue, 45237. I've been a resident of Springfield Township since 87, which make, makes this my 31st year. And I have to tell you, for the most part, I have been very happy. Uh, when um, my brother had a stroke, the emergency service was wonderful, and I wrote a very nice hope letter to thank you guys, because you guys were just wonderful. I mean, it's it literally changed my brother's life being helped by you guys. I really, it was very important to me. What I'm here about today is to support David Hughes and his effort to keep order wild. I want to speak just briefly on three little things. Two of them have photographs with them, and a third is just a story, but it's, I, I shouldn't be too very long. My first story is the colored photograph that went around that shows nine children and one adult. When my, my dog, Rover, ran away from the circle that I walk at uh, Warder Park, um, my dog escaped. His name was Rover, and it was, he was true to his name. And I got a call back because knowing that the dog runs off, I had his, my phone number on his collar, and this lovely person from the back of the park called me because the nine children that you see in the photo had found my dog and he had happily gone up to them and loved them and they loved him and the mother called me and I came and picked her picked up my dog and I took that photo and the next day I went back with 10 photos one for each of the children and the adult thanking them for bringing my dog back to me I just want you to know my the neighbors around this park <laughs> know that the park is there and they appreciate it. The nine kids are very aware of the park and I was really happy to get my dog back. The second photo is a po photo of me using the park with uh, four of the six dogs that we were walking with that day. It's in the winter where the snow is pretty deep <laughs> and we came anyway because we love that park and we use it extensively and appreciate having that park. The third is a, just a, a story um, that I'm thinking of actually writing a children's book about that has to do with some wildlife that was at the park. Um, I was following two adult Canada geese, and they had six babies. And from the time they were the size of a, a baseball, these little geese were <coughs> following their parents around the lake. I was also following, from even before the, the, the geese were born, the, two, the story of the two um, mallard ducks. And um, the mallard ducks had 10 babies. Now, as time went by, I started to notice that the father duck was gone. And the, duck, the, the baby ducks got a little bigger. Then the mother duck was gone. And there were 10 parentless ducks. And those ducks adopted the parents of the, they adopted the geese. I wanted to take them all home, you know, but I knew that wasn't right. But they, they just naturally, adopted themselves out to the this 
these geese. And you, I think there's a, a turtle, a snapping turtle in that pond, because um, then two more of the baby geese died, and there were four left. And there were down to eight little ducks, but the eight little ducks kept on coming and following those parent geese. And I followed them the entire summer. And let me tell you, those little, the eight little ducks followed those geese for the rest of the summer. The geese wanted no part of those ducks. They tried to not be there, and the eight little ducks followed them anyway. Smart little things. And at the end of the summer, the four geese babies flew off, and then I followed, I think I have a, a photo of the, the ducks flying off. So we had some, <laughs> I, I, I followed those ducks, and I was really um, pleased that any of them survived, but I think eight of them actually made it. I love that park, and I want you to support it. And I know you have concerns about developing our, our community, but I want you to keep in mind that there are those of us who really love Water Park, and we, we want to keep as much of it as we can. It's important to some children. It's important to many of us adults who, who really enjoy having that piece of wilderness here. So I want to just say, keep Water Wild. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else that would like to address the board this evening? <clears throat> it appears that there is not. Um, do we have a motion to uh, adjourn this part of the public meeting and move into executive session for the purpose of discussing, discussing the employment of a public employee? So moved. Second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. You individually? I think it's got to be individual. Mr. Burney? Aye. Ms. McFarland? Aye. Mr. Harlow? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Well, do we have a motion to adjourn this meeting? Just did. Okay, I guess that is part of it. We okay, can open the executive. Go. Yeah, we did. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you all for coming.